friends so today we can discuss this question from me lead coding challenge problem 3 ransom note given an arbitrary ransom note string and another string containing letters from all the magazines write a function that will return true if the ransom note can be constructed from the magazine otherwise it will return false each letter in the magazine string can only be used one in your ransom note so basically a ransom note is such that the person don't want to show his handwriting so what he'll do is he take a magazine and cut out different letters from the magazine strips and then write a string which he wants in the ransom note with using those alphabets cut from the magazine strip okay so as you can see in this if this is the magazine strip a a b and the ransom note uh, writer wants to write a a so yeah he can write he can cut out a a from it and write a a in the ransom note but in this if the strip only has b how can he write a so the simple logic can be you can make a frequency array of all the characters which you have from the magazine and then you can iterate over the ransom note if all the characters fulfill the need from the magazine then we are good to go otherwise we return false now that's a simple uh, logic so let's directly code the concept so we can directly make a vector of size a uh, 26 because there are total 26 letters um, in the alphabet so then what we'll do is we iterate over the length of the magazine and then what we'll do is we in we insert in this uh, array the frequency of each, each character okay then what we'll do is we iterate over the ransom note and then we'll check if the in the frequency array this ransom note character is greater than 0 it means this character is present in the uh, magazine then what we'll do is we can subtract it because we have used it once otherwise if this uh, character is not present we just directly return false that we cannot make the ransom note if we come out of this loop without uh, like touching this false statement then yes we have fulfilled all the characters and we can return true we can directly check it given false that submitted okay so what we have done here is so because oh sorry we have to subtract here because uh, we have used one character yeah it's accepted i hope you understand the logic it's very simple if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video more videos are coming soon uh, so stay tuned and uh, thank you for supporting this channel it's a very helpful and motivating for me i'll see you in the next one bye